Last time on the Earthy Birth Diaries, we introduced the Earthy Birth Center and some of the exciting ideas we hope to accomplish. Now let's take a look into everything that has happened in the last several months. Follow us on our journey as we document these experiences. Getting into a facility for the first time as a startup is such a roller coaster. Every day you wake up thinking you are on top of the world and then bouncing back to thinking it is on top of you. And we had a lot of team members move on and chase other dreams in the first few months, which really made time pressing to make the building work. But it always seems that when time is pressing most that new people show up to help. The mood is so cool. We have like little light things going. Like there's people and the bands are super cool so everything's, I like it. We finally managed to amp up events at the center and people are learning more about us every day. And with eight school gardens and more coming, we are moving in the right direction while the community continues to keep spreading the word. Uh, we have the kids here at Irving Middle School and they are learning how to make a sundial. And why do you think they need to learn how to make a sundial? Well, because I think it's one. It's not necessarily a base necessity as much as it's always a good tool to have where a kid knowing how to use the sun to their advantage if they were going camping or any of those things to know that nature is your natural timekeeper. So it's a, a lot of the kids have never known that the sun is what's keeping time. So just showing them that it allows them to kind of think outside the box and think about how nature your place in their lives. If we do this right, how we've planned it, Earth Birth will be seen as a very different organization a year from now. We want the Earth Birth Center to be seen as a pride of Oklahoma and with our goals, hopefully we can make that happen sooner rather than later.